Disclaimer This video contains information on homeopathic remedy. The purpose of creating this video is to spread information and knowledge about this remedy. We strongly discourage any self-consumption of medicine without a qualified doctor's consultation. Hello and welcome to the sequel on Calcarea Carbonica Remedy. In part 1, we have discussed some particulars and personality of Calcarea Carb. For revisiting part 1 you can click on the tag appearing here. In this video we will start our discussion on Calcarea Carb part 2. So let's commence our discussion with some more mental symptoms of Calcarea Carbonica. Oversensitiveness, Calcarea's soft heart cannot bear to hear cruelty. She winces at the thought of another creature's suffering, especially as a result of cruelty, since she feels the pain herself to some extent. There is mental compulsion to littleness, or to dwell on little things. But to her, those are big things, and she can't put them aside. When her feelings are hurt, she is most liable to resort to pettiness. If she feels insulted or rejected, she may behave childishly, resorting to juvenile tactics of revenge. For example, she may close the door in her husband's face, if she is angry with him. When Calcaria is hurt, she will withdraw in her shell, and refuse to have anything to do, with the person who upset her. At times, these Calcarias can be resentful, and even bitter. When Calcaria is hurt, she has a tendency to react irrationally. She forms conclusion out of emotions, rather than intelligence. She forms conclusion about things as she wants them to be. She is unable to accept any sort of argument, and this grows worse and worse. Calcaria lacks stamina, both mentally, and physically. There is inability to sustain prolonged mental effort. Calcaria tends to fear from challenges, that would result from being successful. Right in the midst of her success, she quits her business. There is aversion and repugnance to work with great irritability. Calcaria tends to be very concerned with material security. As a result, they tend to be very hypochondriacal and worry about future. Fear that something will happen. Fear of death, of misfortune, of being alone, of darkness, of contagious and chronic disease. The anxious Calcaria appreciates reassurance, and usually manages to regain some perspective before long. It is unusual for her, to suffer from the kind of panic attacks, and long-term anxiety problem. Calcaria is relatively strong emotionally, and it takes a lot of misfortune, to turn her miseries into real depression. When Calcaria is miserable, she is more likely to cry softly, than to howl, and to feel sorry for herself, and indulge herself, rather than feeling wretched, whimpering, low-spirited and melancholy. There is prolonged emotional disturbance, lasting for days or weeks, from excitement, worrying, vexation etc. There is inability to do good thinking for some time, after such excitement, disturbances or worry. There is fear of loss of reason. She feels this exhaustion of mind, this mental weakness, and inability to do, and to think connectedly, must be going towards insanity. She feels she is insane, or about to become insane. She thinks people will observe her insanity, or weakness of mind. She thinks people look at her suspiciously, and she look at them suspiciously, and she wonders why don't they say something to her about it. She keeps such thoughts in her mind most of the time. She thinks of it daytimes, and she gets greatly roused up over it, she thinks of it at nights, and it keeps her awake. Little things combine to convince her that, she is going crazy. She cannot calculate, cannot do deep thinking, cannot dwell upon deep things. Mental depth is lost. She goes into insanity or imbecility, or a general breakdown. 
It is a passive state, in which she sits for long hours, and thinks about her little affairs. She sits and sits, and breaks sticks, or bends spins all day long. Any amount of thinking becomes impossible. Impossible to reach same conclusion twice. Cannot add, or subtract even in simplest form. Dejected, melancholic, restlessness of mind, anxiety, peevish. Great apprehension, worse towards evening. Can't sleep with horrible dreams. She cannot go to sleep, sees visions and faces when eyes closed. Startled at every noise. Talking to herself when she is alone, and carries on a general conversation, with every conceivable individual, on every conceivable topic, and she imagines it is all real. She does all these strange things when alone. She is controlled and dominated in company. Hence, not fit for mental asylum. We hope you are enjoying this video. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so now. Let's now discuss, the particular symptoms part 2. Let's look at the symptoms of female reproductive system. Before menses there is headache, colic, chilliness and leucorrhea. Menses are too early, too profuse and too long. Least mental excitement causes their return. Cutting pain in uterus during menses. Burning and itching of parts before and after menses, in little girls. Leucorrhea milky white but acrid. Breast tender and swollen before menses. Increased sexual desire, easy conception. Milk too abundant, disagreeable to child. In case of male reproductive system, there is increased desire. Frequent emission. Semen emitted too soon. Coition followed by weakness and irritability. Now comes the respiratory complaints. Tickling cough troublesome at night, dry and free expectoration. Painless hoarseness. Expectoration only during day, thick, yellow, sour mucus. Bloody expectoration with pain in chest. Suffocating spells, tightness. Stitching pain in chest. Chest sensitive to touch, percussion, or pressure. Longing for fresh air. Moving forward to heart symptoms. There is palpitation at night and after eating. Palpitation with feeling of coldness, with restless oppression of chest, after suppressed eruption. Please watch this video till the end. We have a quiz section, coming up. In case of back symptoms, there is pain between shoulder blades, impeding breathing. Curvature of dorsal vertebrae. Nape of neck stiff and rigid. Pain as if sprained, can scarcely rise, from overlifting. Rheumatism in lumbar region, weakness in small of back. Renal colic. Let's proceed to extremities. Cold damp feet, feel as if damp stockings were worn. Rheumatoid pains, after exposure to wet. Cold knees, cramps in calves. Swelling of joints, especially knee. Burning of soles of feet. Weakness of extremities. Sweat of hands. Sour foot sweat. Now, the bone symptoms. Bones are soft, weak, and develop very slowly. Bones are unable, to hold the weight of the bulky, flabby body, and therefore, often curvatures of bones, especially of spine, and long bones. Pathological fractures of the bones, especially of long bones. Head is large and fontanelles and sutures remains open with delayed ossification. Difficult and delayed dentition. Late learning to walk. Let's now look at the skin symptoms. Small wounds, do not heal readily. Skin is unhealthy, readily ulcerating, and flaccid. Warts on face and hands. Glands swollen. Nettle rash, better in cold. Boils. Chillblains. Petechial eruptions. Sleep symptoms are as follows. Drowsy in early part of evening. Horrid vision. Night terrors. Dreams of the dead. Ideas crowding in her mind, prevent sleep. Frequent waking at night. Same disagreeable idea always arouses from light slumber. Lastly the fever complaints. 
Chill at 2 p.m. begins internally in stomach region. Fever with sweat. Hectic fever. Night sweats, especially on head, neck and chest. Sweat overhead in children, so that pillow becomes wet. Quiz time now. Answers to quiz will follow shortly. Now, we will discuss the next part of this remedy, that is, its modalities. In case of modalities the patient is aggravated from exertion, mental or physical. Cold in every form, water, washing, moist air, wet weather, and during full moon. Amelioration is from dry climate and by lying on painful side. Coming to the last part of this remedy, that is, its relations. Calcarea carb is complementary to belladonna, rustox, lycopodium, and silica. The antidotes are camphor, ipecac, nitric acid, nux vomica. Calcarea is incompatible to bryonia. Calcarea should never be used before sulfur. It acts best after sulfur. Answers to the quiz. If you have found value in this innovative presentation to Materia Medica, please don't forget to like, share and comment this video. Let us know which remedy would you like us to develop next. Based on your suggestions, we have taken up Camphora, as the subject of our next video. See you then. Thanks for watching.